Hey guys, so I was cleaning through my room and I was like, hmm, I have some free time, what should I do? And I remembered I have a box of like Pleasant Company, American Girl, well not American Girl yet, like really old Pleasant Company things that I got in a lot for historical dolls, and that is the box in front of me on the floor. So I thought it would be cool to make a video really quick of all of my like really old collectible Pleasant Company items. So uh, I'm gonna get started, and basically everything in this box I got in one lot. I got it a while back, probably like a year ago now. And when I first got it, I was gonna make a video. But at the time, my camera was like having problems, so I never got around to it. So now I'm going to be doing it. I got like three dolls and all these clothes and accessories for only like $175. And all this stuff is really collectible, so it was really worth it. So I also I apologize for my voice. Um, I'm kind of sick right now, so if you could hear that nasally congestion i'm sorry about that but uh yeah let's get started so i'm gonna start off here with samantha's play outfit i honestly forgot i had this i really wanted this outfit too and i was like man i just wish i had it and lo and below lo and behold i actually did so all these outfits are in like mint condition they're such cute and when i say they're old i mean like they are original let me just Pleasant Company. I'm trying to get to the year. 1991 Pleasant Company. So all of these outfits and accessories are like from the 1990s, 1990, 1991. So they're like early, early, early edition. Very collectible. Sorry for that little scramble to find the tag. But yeah, so this is Samantha's playoff. Alrighty, so the next thing I have here, I'm going into Kirsten's collection because that was all for Samantha is Kirsten's little doll. I don't know her exact name, I'm sorry. But yeah, she's very early, probably 1991 or 1990 edition. And I want to show you the difference between the Pleasant Company one and the American Girl model. These are supposed to be the same one, but this one over here looks like the little sister. So you can tell like the difference in the quality, the different colors of the fabrics, like the difference in their appearance. It's really cool, I think, like all of the changes as the brands like switched over so yeah another really cool piece and the next thing here is kirsten's quilt it's so beautiful also a 1990 edition so it's very awesome this guy was just selling his sister's stuff that they were just looking to make some money so I got really lucky it was an amazing set the next thing here is kirsten's red boots and these are like the original edition and they have them next to the newer models, so like you can really also see the difference in quality. It's really fascinating, I think. It's crazy. The next thing here is Kirsten's kittens, and I was looking at these today. I already knew they were rare. Like the original edition, like Pleasant Company, is very rare and expensive. And then I was looking at them, and they still have their like made in Germany tags on them. So. That makes them even more of a collectible. I cannot believe this. They're just so cute too. They're little green eyes. Just adorable. And they have little yarn balls. It's just so cute. So yeah, they're the original little set. It's, I love it. So cute. Now moving on to Kirsten's outfits. I have her birthday outfit. Um, I believe... Of course it's backwards. 1990 so yeah all still in the same time it's amazing quality so beautiful outfit here is kirsten's work dress and her kerchief and it's also tagged 1990 really really beautiful i have an american girl model of the this outfit and the quality is so different like this fabric is much more richer it's just crazy how you could just tell the difference the next thing here is kirsten's winter woolens and her winter outfit set I think I have the shirt in the closet, uh, or I can't remember if it's gonna come with it, but. So, the skirt is tagged 1990 by Pleasant Company, and get this, I just looked at this, the wool sweater, and one has two tags, which I found is very interesting, but for the year, sorry guys, it says, of course it's gonna be on the other side, 1989. So yeah, this little guy is tagged from 1989. Now, this set, American Girl made, is already really expensive. 
1989 Plaza Company. It's just so collectible, I can't believe it. Yeah, so that is all for Kirsten's collection. Now I'm going to move on to Felicity. So Felicity's collection is where it gets even cooler because they have like the boxes for some of the things. And as you can see here, I have the red cape and it's in the original bag. So I'm going to try to slide that out. And this goes with the next outfit I'm going to show. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's just Felicity's red riding cape or something. It's such a good quality. It's so beautiful. I don't think there's a tag in it because it's old. Oh, it's just so, so pretty. Love it. It's really bright and light, but it's actually a really dark rich red. It's really gorgeous. So here is Cr Felicity's Christmas gown and stomacher, excuse me. And I found out that this outfit was released in 1991, as I guess I'm sure all the other outfits were. And this outfit, of course, this tag 1991 Pleasant Company. So it's like the first edition of the outfit. Just so, so amazing. Like, it's very, it's complete. I'm pretty sure, I don't think it came with the shoes, but besides the shoes, I have the necklace, the little top hat. I'm not sure the correct name. Uh, an interchangeable, like, piece, I think. It's really awesome. It clasps in. And then there's also the under skirt to go under the dress because it's just, like, open. Beautiful, beautiful set. Amazing. I apologize for the messy background, but now, this is one of the dolls that I got in the lots. I don't have the other two anymore, unfortunately. But, uh, this, I just found something new about my collection. This is a 1991 Felicity, so it's the first edition Felicity. And you can really tell, if you watch my all of my dolls videos, you can see the difference between this Felicity and the American Girl brand, or even early, like, 2000s Felicity. So here she is. Oh my gosh, I didn't even know that. I knew she was old, but I didn't know. I knew she was in the early 90s, but I didn't happen to know that first Felicity came out in the early 90s. So she's wearing her school outfit, and it's complete. And I have this here because this is her original meat outfit, the Rose Garden outfit. And I have it here. I just moved a packy peanut that was squished with her like original cap. It says the 1991 to prove it that it came on the doll in 1991. Really cool. And her original neat accessories, which are just amazing. And the beautiful outfit and the little stockings and shoes are over here. Wow. You learn something new every day, folks. That's really true. And I also. One sec. Okay. So, again, for the quality thing, look at the quality between these two meat pouches. Like, they're completely different. This is the original one, and then this is like a new one. This one's so much more sturdy. This one's like really flimsy. And they're even different patterns. Like, it took me a while, but not a while, but. I wondered if they were actually the same thing because the patterns are completely different. So it's really, 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 really amazing. I'm so happy with this. The boots here are Kirsten's two tone boots, and it's also in this set. Really, really, really so, so, so cute. That's like for Felicity's outfits. We have her summer gown outfit, and it has this dress. Oops, I forgot to put this ribbon that's just sitting on my leg. So it's the dress and then this ribbon to go around it. And then there's this beautiful hat that goes over this little lace bonnet. And then there's those shoes. Oh, and there's also, which I have this place. Oh, this basket that goes along with it. And there's these little flowers that go in it. So yeah, it's a complete set, really, really beautiful. Uh, it is 1992 edition. Or tag 1992 anyway. And yeah, it's so, so beautiful. I had done the photo shoot in it before. It's just such a gorgeous set. So this is the last stuff here. It's where it kind of gets really exciting and everything. Uh, this is the stuff with the boxes and things. And it's two, well, it's actually like three sets here. So you have Felicity's travel trunk, Felicity's rescue kit, which is actually, I got that wrong. That does not go with the other dress. I thought it did. And then her plantation kit. So, they're a little scrambled here because I got it a little confused just now. When I got this, these are in their boxes by themselves, just the racket and that thing, and then this is over here. But it turns out they go in the same set. And then I looked it up, and also it only is supposed to have one racket. So there's two, so I, I'm guessing maybe that's why there's two boxes. I'm not really sure, but it's just the original box, so it's really cool. 
So Felicity's rescue kit is like this um, flower picking set. I have more flowers, they're just scattered right now. And then uh, it's this little map and I'm pretty sure it's this little like newspaper thing. And then the plantation kit is like the racket. It's only supposed to be one. And then how cool is this? The original little badminton thing is still in here. It's so fragile, I'm like scared to take it out. If I take it out, I don't want to do that off camera, but let me try. Okay guys, I don't want to like ruin it, so I'm going to take it out right now, but it's in there, as you can see. Still had the original sticker that said made in the Philippines and just fell off, so I put it in the box. I guess it got too old. Kind of see it down there. And then over here is the reed and shell, which is pretty cool. And it's like, this goes to the rescue kit, I believe. No, 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 sorry, the plantation kit. And it's just this little thing. There's this, ah, I dropped the little birdie. There's this little bird that is so, so cute and it's like really soft, so adorable. It's supposed to sit in there. And then there's this shell that looks real. And there's also these little sticks. I think there might be some doubles in. I'm not really sure. I'll have to figure it out. But here's a little brochure. So basically, those sets. Oh, I also have that thing that's here. So like, the pieces are all, all they are all here that are in this picture. Just of this word. Oh wait, there's two rackets in this one. An American Girl Wikipedia that only shows one, so that threw me off. So never mind. There's not doubles. But yeah, uh, that's really cool. And then this is the trunk. This little guy is so expensive, actually. On eBay, he's going for like $150. And that's insane for this little thing. It's so beautiful, though. I love it. I can't believe this person had it in a lot. So yeah, these are all the little odds and ends. I'm guessing that one set went in this box, like the rescue kit. Probably in this one, actually, because it's a little taller. And then the plantation set went in here. But yeah, that's all the little odds and ends. Really collectible. Pleasant Company so awesome. But yeah, that's really it. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, I thought it would be fun to expand my knowledge more on what I had and just show you guys what Pleasant Company things I have. Especially since these are such like early edition. It's really, really cool. Um, I wasn't trying to brag in any way, guys. I am literally just wanted to show you what I have. And so I hope you don't think that I'm bragging. I'm just... Um, sharing my collection with you guys. I also want to do this because in my last video I mentioned that there's this lot I was really really hoping to get and I'm supposed to get it tomorrow so I am so excited. I'm not getting everything because that would have been way too expensive but I'm getting all the things I don't have and I'm pretty sure she has a lot of Pleasant Company stuff so I wanted to show you guys my Pleasant Company collection now and then when I do a video on the lot you can see like the things I've added and I just like to share public company things because they're not as common and you see a lot of videos on the newer stuff but the old stuff kind of gets pushed away so I thought it was really cool to like go back to the heritage and the roots of American Girl share Felicity's summer story with you and look how old she is it's so amazing like this is how it all began so yeah thank you guys again so much for watching I really really hope you enjoy the video and I'll see you next time bye this little add-on here is the little badminton thing I'm, I know that's not the name, but took it out of the box. And then there's also this little letter inside of this little pouch that goes to the rescue kid after I took it out. So, yeah. okay, bye guys.